Yesterday, we brought you the story of Harvey Weinstein settling with more than 30 of his accusers. Weinstein will not have to admit any wrongdoing as a part of the $25 million agreement, but a criminal trial is set to begin in January on charges involving two other women. All right, let's bring back our A-plus panel tonight, Republican strategist Jeanette Hoffman and Democratic strategist and attorney Bill Caruso. Bill, I'll start with you on this. Uh, it's amazing to me that, first of all, it's a lot of money. Um, you know, it doesn't exonerate him from what he's, what he's going to have to face in the trial with the other two women. But has, has it all come down to money? No, um, although it's interesting. It doesn't look like Har Harvey Weinstein's going to pay out a lot of this money. There's some insurance uh, uh, proceeds right, that will pay it right. out. So, I mean, you know, is this justice? I don't know. Um, we haven't really seen the end of this. Yet. Uh, there's going to be a criminal case that I think he's probably more worried about than this one right now. I would agree. But I don't know that anyone's going to be made whole from this settlement. Right. Does money make you whole if you have been assaulted? And again, these are alleged victims. We don't know. These are accusations. And, and you know, it, it just, to me, it has muddied the waters a bit. So, you know, the victims do get something, something for the pain and suffering. But certainly it doesn't make everything go away. It doesn't exonerate, you know, the, the Harvey Weinstein for his crimes or what he did for these women. Well, Again, allegedly, right, Deanna? I mean, that's you and I talk about this all the time. Uh, have we monetized sexual assault in this country? Uh, you know, it seems to me that behind every sexual assault accusation, when there's a lump of money, uh, oftentimes it goes away. Uh, that to me is troubling. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one. So, you know, we're talking about alleged accusers, but let's assume that some of them are telling the truth. No amount of money can take care of the pain and suffering that they've endured. And I saw something with uh, Weinstein's attorney where he was talking about the casting couch is a well-known process in Hollywood. Really? I was deeply offended when I heard that. Jeanette, to that point, you know, it's almost along the lines of when people say everybody knows. Well, everybody knows doesn't hold up in court. Absolutely. Exactly. And <laughs> frankly, the excuse that everybody's doing it doesn't excuse this type of behavior. But let's not forget, it's Harvey Weinstein that sparked the Me Too movement. So maybe, Bill, maybe there is some good to come out of all this because there is now a zero tolerance for sexual assault in Hollywood. To that point, though, Bill, uh, you got a criminal trial coming up and again, uh, to me, this uh, potentially taints the waters. You know, everybody's entitled to their day in court. And you are supposed to be innocent until you are proved guilty. And that seems to have gotten away from us. In some cases, allegedly, these women careers were ended by these gatekeepers, right? Doing horrible things on the casting couch. And that gatekeeper process has ruined their careers. And that does have a financial impact to these folks. I'm looking forward to the criminal trial. There are different standards in a criminal trial as opposed to a civil suit. Okay. That's Thanks, guys.